season two of Extreme E. We're in Sardinia for the first ever double header, and that means more racing and more action, and we're super excited about that. My name is Alice Berry. I'm the event manager at Extreme E, so I'm responsible for the Sardinia event, and my role is made up of everything from getting our equipment delivered from the St. Helena to the event site, building the infrastructure at the event site, and then bringing in extra people to then drive and deliver the event and the racing to make it happen. It's extremely hot. We've had temperatures up to 42 degrees, so I mean, everyone is under pressure to deliver the event, but as the name says, it is extreme. The main challenge being everyone is out for a longer time. You've got an extra three to four days of racing, of build. You know, our team is here usually from start to finish for a month. So we've added an extra week onto that. For the teams, this means not only do they have to get themselves prepped and ready for the race one, they then have one day switch over and then they're straight into race two. Good start by Christophs and Scheider moving across to him already. It looks like Sainz has gone into the lead on the outside. first ever win in Extreme E. It's crazy to think that we went from last place to first place. Like, this is the true underdog story because we didn't even make it through both qualifiers due to reliability issues. And we kind of were like, all right, well, our only shot's a crazy race. And that's the only chance we have to make it to the final. And that is the ultimate goal. To get this win, it means so much to Chip Ganassi Racing. Uh, my name is Adam Calder. I'm crew chief of the global crew for Extreme E. We arrive in extreme parts of the world and there's nothing here, it's just a patch of earth. And we got a, two weeks to build what becomes a race village, uh, run a race series, and then we got a week to take it down and leave as pristine as we found it. Times it's tough. I mean, here it's been mid 40s degrees, dealing with the heat, it's extreme conditions. The 18 volt battery tools are crucial because when we arrive, again, there's, there's nothing here, there's no power on site, so we're totally on, on battery power, and so we could be a couple of hours away from the nearest power source and so having something that is ready to go is, is essential. RXR sliding in nicely into second place. That was beautifully done. But what can Arlen Kotlitsky do? She's all over the back of you to Klein Schmidt here. It was a fantastic weekend for us. I mean, Michaela has been on fire all weekend, so Big, uh, yeah, big hands up for her and then, of course, to the team as well. They prepared the car very well. I mean, we crossed the finish line first three times out of three. So, yeah, just, uh, just amazing for the team. We need a supplier that can supply something that can withstand the harshest environments and we can rely on to not need to be replaced, you know, to be fixed. We need things that can withstand our work for the duration of that month. At every location, we aim to race without a trace. And in order to do that, we need to have the confidence and the trust in our tools and equipment to deliver a world-class racing event. And with Bosch, we've got exactly that. 